I think that in order to tackle the colonized minds, we have to first decolonize uh, the system itself. I think that the system itself is set already in a, I would say, colonial way. And the system is set in a way that shows who is more important and who is less important. The system is set in what we study in school. I can give an example. In school, I studied more about European history than my own history. So it's in the education and what we learn. So many of the, of the kids and the students in my country or probably across Africa, they start from school learning about how um, they were colonized and how they were a weaker race um, according to uh, what the system says. So we've grown up thinking that we are the weaker race because that is what the education is telling us. We've grown up thinking that um, our ancestors, the people of who fought for our freedom, we, we've grown up thinking that they were always defeated because that's what they're teaching us. It's important for people to know that Africa is not just about the slavery. It's about the people who were taken from there, the people who became doctors here, but they came in as slaves. They were, you know, they were taken from their communities as slaves. So I think it's time for people to see Africa beyond that. To see that and for kids and students in students in school to learn that we are way more than that. So I think it really starts from decolonizing the system. And I think education, the education sector is very important.